So I'm going to go over how to create the navigation menu on this left bar. So by default, all of your pages that you have will just automatically get pulled into this menu. Um, and that's just an automatic WordPress function, but we can customize this and add the, you know, uh, subcategories and everything on this column. So if we go under dashboard, we can go under appearance and menus. And this is where um, you're going to create your menu and add pages to it. So the first step is creating a menu. So let's go ahead and call this one navigate, main navigation. And then you click create menu. So now you have your main navigation. And uh, the next step uh, is either is going to be under theme locations. We're going to change, select our main navigation. And there's only one form of navigation on here, which is main. And so you'll select whichever navigation you created. Ours is called main navigation. So you save that. And let's view our page in a new tab. And now it's blank. And it's blank because we haven't added any pages to it. So let's go ahead and start adding some pages. So you can just select them and click add to menu. You can select multiple ones at a time as well. So once you've added a whole bunch of pages, you can either save your menu or you can start adjusting the order via drag and drop. So let's put our contact form at the contact page at the bottom and our sample at the second. And let's save this menu. Once we refresh it, we have our new menu, which is in the order that we want uh, on this left-hand column. So the next thing that it's kind of cool is let's say you wanted a sample page to have the page title of sample page but on your left column you wanted to have it something else like a shorter name or something you can easily edit any of these by clicking this down arrow and changing the navigation label so if we do that to just sample let's save our menu now our menu item will just be sample but our page will stay the same we haven't added, edited that. So that's the same thing with our home page. Let's say we just want it to be home. Or for instance, in our live preview, we call this one featured. So then we save it. And now if we go to our home page, it's called featured instead of home page. So very easy to do edit. Um, so then the final thing is going to be uh, how do you do those subcategories on the live preview? And that's just essentially a drop down style. So, all you need to do is you can adjust the order of any of these, and you will just want to um, move the item slightly to the right. So, if it's indented a little bit, it means that example or sample is underneath example. So, let's go ahead and show you how, what's going on now. So, now if we refresh our page, sample has disappeared, but if we click on example gallery, you now have the sub menu of sample. So let's go ahead and do add contact to the same thing. If we save that. Now our contacts under that. So if we click off of it, it won't display. And this is how we do our little subcategories and you can kind of add more items to your menu without it getting really long. Um, so yeah, that's basically the navigation menus through and through.